Hello and welcome to my workshop again. Today I'm going to talk about uh, balancing wheels. And to be honest, I have been thinking about this for a while. Uh, actually in January uh, this year I have ordered 10 of Silka's uh, speed shield and speed balance uh, products but uh, since the local Silka distributor uh, is a bit of an incompetent idiot he couldn't deliver them to date and someone uh, in the comments in one of my videos has mentioned these uh, this is wheels and lead tape used in tennis rackets for balancing them to add, adding some weight to it so luckily I got this recommendation so I'm going to balance my wheels with this now uh, it's probably not as uh, ele elegant as a solution but I think it will do the job anyway uh, so let's get into it in my work stand I have my 808 NSW front wheel now uh, actually it has a heavy spot not at the valve but a bit to the side which I found a bit odd but anyway uh, I'm going to use these now uh, actually these are, are quite stealthy uh, black lead strips but they are really light as well I have ordered well five different packets but one, one complete strip is just two and a half grams so hopefully it's gonna be enough uh, for a couple of sets of wheels until my Silka kit arrives so let's just start uh, balancing uh, it seems that my heavy spot is somewhere around here so I'm going to need to put my uh, balance to my ballast weights somewhere up here so let's get into it and hopefully this will be good enough for the job Uh, okay, it looks like I'm done with this one. I've had to put uh, seven strips, seven complete strips, so that's uh, 2.5 grams each. It's quite a lot of weight, but now it seems that my wheel is balanced. Anywhere I stop it, its rotation is going to stay there, so that means no heavy spot and hopefully. No vibration either. So I think that's done the trick. I still have a couple more strips, so now I will try to do the disc as well. Okay, now I have the disc wheel set up in the stand. It seems that the imbalance on this wheel is also not in line with the valve. It's somewhere around here is the light spot, so I need to add weight here. And if I think about it, these strips are probably the only way you can balance a disc wheel, so let's just get into it. Okay, now it seems that the tape did the trick. I needed uh, four complete strips to balance it out, which means that uh, 10 grams. I've put two of them here, two on the other side to make it even. And it seems that now, again, wherever I stop the wheel, it just stays there, so it's balanced. It's spinning. No vibration seemingly coming from here. Okay, let's put it in the bike and do a proper test. Let's check out the result. The wheels are in the bike now. The front wheel has quite a lot of tape on it, but it fits quite snugly in this place, so I think that shouldn't be a problem. 
uh, in terms of aerodynamics. Pretty much the same on the other side as well. Uh, now I'll just give it a good spin. Yeah, it seems to be completely stable, no vibrations. Uh, I think this one is as good as it's gonna get. Oh, well, that's rear brake. Okay, now the rear wheel, of course, it's going to have a more pronounced effect since we can spin it really, really fast. So let's try that out. Uh, if I just put my hand on the saddle or Yeah, there's very little vibration in there now uh, one thing though, I need to push the tapes a bit further up because they are hitting the hitting the brake blocks. But otherwise, I think we're done. Uh, okay, so performance-wise, this is not a huge saving. Probably around one, one and a half watts at best. But the feel in the descent is going to be much better. I've actually tried uh, balancing my my old uh, Black INC 30 wheels before I've sold them and I used some big uh, big weights they use in the cars but it worked because they uh, sometimes did some speed wobble uh, that pair of wheels and that erased it completely so the feeling was very nice and I think I can experience the same changes here and uh, obviously this is one of the few upgrades I could have still made to this bike but if you can think of anything new then don't forget to leave, it, leave your suggestions in the comments down below I'm very keen to try something out uh, if you want to see more about this bike or some high, other high-end cycling stuff then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For today it's all, thanks for watching and see you next time.